everybody, and welcome to Team Tuesday with your host, Margaret. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D paper labyrinth. Really what that means is we're going to make a multi-level maze for a marble to go through. To make our labyrinth, we're going to use the printed grid to design the mazes in our labyrinth. And we'll use the cardstock with the scissors, the tape, and the ruler to actually build the labyrinth. The first step is going to be designing the mazes that are gonna make up our labyrinth. I'm going to make a three layer maze for my labyrinth. So I'm gonna only use three of the grids on here, but you have four, you can even flip it over and use it as a template for more. So you can make as many layers in your labyrinth as you would like. So the first step in making our paper labyrinth is drawing the template for the mazes. I'm going to make a three layer maze. So I'm going to have a start here where the marble will go in. And this will be level one, level two, and level three. And I will have the marble exit here. Okay. So, make sure when you're drawing your maze, you're remembering that these are gonna stack on top of each other and there need to be holes where the marble can fall down. So if I put a wall here, hole right there to go down, which is going to be right here. This is where the marble is going to enter this maze. So now I've drawn my maze. So the marble will enter the maze here. It can go down and over, and then it can either go around this way or up this way to the exit. Actually, let me make a wall there too. Then it's gonna come down onto this level here where it has to go around this way to go down to the next level where it's going to enter the maze here and it's going to go this way to exit. I can do that. Okay, so now let's figure out how big is our marble. Your marble should be about a half an inch wide. So you want to make sure that the spaces between the walls in your maze are at least a half an inch wide, if not maybe three quarters of an inch to give it plenty of room, which means that the height of the walls of your maze should also be three quarters of an inch. However, however wide you make the corridors in your maze, that's how tall it should be as well. So let's trace our maze design onto the paper, onto the cardstock, uh, and then cut out some walls and start taping it together. Okay, so now I have all of the pieces that I need for my maze. I have top, and then level one, level two, and level three, the bottom. Make sure that your marble passes easily through the holes that you have between your levels before we start trying to put it together. You'll also want to make sure that your maze levels are all about the same size because that will make it easier for our assembling it in a few moments. So now we need to cut out a whole bunch of strips of paper that are about three quarter inches tall because that's how wide at least I've made the corridors on mine. So cut out a whole bunch of pieces of cardstock about three quarter inches and then come back. So now it is time to assemble. All right. 
So now I have my three levels with their walls and the top. Make sure that you leave the opening for the marble to go in and out on your top and your bottom level. Now we just tape the three levels to each other. If you'd like, you can also take a thicker piece or a taller piece and wrap it all the way around the outside to have a more attractive outer edge. Okay, so I taped my layers together and then I added solid papers all the way around the outside so that it's more attractive and you can't see the spaces between the layers. So now the question is, can I solve it? Oop. Oh, I did. Yay. I hope you had fun making the 3D paper labyrinths and I wish you luck with solving them. Um, if nothing else, keep your templates so that you can cheat if you have to. See you next week for another Team Tuesday. I'll get it eventually.